SCS Health and Safety Mock Test, 16 questions. Question 1. To help prevent rats on the work site, what should every person do? A. Bring a large cat to site. B. Buy rat traps and put them round site. C. They should not leave bit of food lying around the work site. D. Ask the local authority to put down rat poison. Question 1 Answer C. They should not leave bit of food lying around the work site. Question 2. If you breathe in asbestos dust it can cause what? A. Painful joints. B. Lung disease. C. Aching muscles. D. Influenza. Question 2 Answer B. Lung disease. Question 3. The pad test label on a power tool tells you what? A. When the tool was made. B. Who tested the tool before it left the factory? C. When the next safety check is due. D. It is earth loop impedance. Question 3 Answer. C. When the next safety check is due. Question 4. You are walking across the site. Which is the best way to avoid having an accident with planned vehicles? A. Get a ride on the planned vehicle. B. Make sure you have the attention of the planned driver before you become too close to it. C. Keep to the pedestrian routes. D. Make sure you are wearing high-vis clothing. Question 4 Answer. C. Keep to the pedestrian routes. Question 5. If you or a co-worker decides to go to a pub at lunchtime and they have a couple of beers, what should they do next? A. They must not return to the work site for the rest of the day. B. Stay away for an hour and then go back to work. C. Drink plenty of strong coffee then go back to work. D. Eat something, wait for 30 minutes then go back to work. Question 5 Answer A. They must not return to the work site for the rest of the day. Question 6. You are using an electric drill when it cuts out, how should you proceed? A. Pull the electric cable to see if it is loose. B. Shake it to see if it will start again. C. Switch off the power and look for signs of damage. D. Switch the power off and on a few times. Question 6 Answer C. Switch off the power and look for signs of damage. Question 7. You are walking across the site when a mobile crane backs up across you. What will need to do? A. Start to run so that you can pass behind the crane. B. Help the driver to back up. C. Wait or find another way around the crane. D. Pass close to the front of the crane. Question 7 Answer C. Wait or find another way around the crane. Question 8. You should not just rely on barrier cream to protect your skin from harmful substances because A. It can be hard to wash of your hands. B. It is known to irritate skin. C. It costs too much to use every day. D. Many harmful substances go straight through it. Question 8 Answer D. Many harmful substances go straight through it. Question 9. If you need to use a power tool in a waterlogged part of the site, it is safest to A. Use an air-powered to lift possible. B. Only use 230 volt equipment. C. Wear Wellington boots. D. Wrap a plastic bag around the tool. Question 9 Answer A. Use an air powered to lift possible. Question 10. You see a driver that is spilling diesel on the ground while refueling an excavator. How should you proceed? A. Look for the spillage kit immediately. B. You must tell the driver right away. C. You can do nothing as it will seep into the ground. D. Tell your supervisor the next time you see them. Question 10 Answer B. You must tell the driver right away. Question 11. 
exposure to which of the these may not result in you getting lung disease? A. Silica dust. B. Steam. C. Asbestos. D. Bird droppings. Question 11. Answer. B. Steam. Question 12. If your hands get into contact with the hazardous substance when eating you can easily pass it onto your mouth. Give two answers how you could stop this. A. Put your protective gloves on inside out before you eat. B. Wash your hands before eating. C. Wear protective gloves while you are working. D. Wash the gloves you have been wearing and put them on inside out. E. Put barrier cream on before eating. Question 12 Answer B. Wash your hands before eating. C. Wear protective gloves while you are working. Question 13. If an extension cable has a cut in its outer cover, you should do what? A. Put a bigger fuse in the cable plug. B. Check the copper wires do not show through the cut then use the cable. C. Put electrical tape around the damaged area. D. Report the fault and make sure no one else uses the cable. Question 13 Answer D. Report the fault and make sure no one else uses the cable. Question 14. It is safe to work close to an overhead power line if A. You use a wooden ladder. B. You do not touch the line for more than 30 seconds. C. The power is switched off. D. It is not raining. Question 14 Answer C. The power is switched off. Question 15. There is smoke coming from the motor on your electric drill. What should you do? A. Unplug the drill and make sure no one else uses it. B. Allow the drill to cool for 30 minutes. C. Pour water over it. D. Use a carbon dioxide extinguisher. Question 15 Answer A. Unplug the drill and make sure no one else uses it. Question 16. You should use an RCD with 230 volts tool because A. It saves energy and lowers costs. B. It quickly cuts off the power if there is a fault. C. It makes the tool run at safe speeds. D. It lowers the voltage. Question 16 Answer B. It quickly cuts off the power if there is a fault.